Okay, welcome back. We are doing function notation, which is going to be a key thing that we see in Algebra 1. It's pretty simple. So the way we would read this is that f of x equals y. Okay, the f is what makes it function notation. And the way we just need to break this down is the x is the input and the y is going to be the output. Now, we will get more in detail to this when we start learning our first function, which is linear functions. But as of right now, when we break this down, all we need to do is just figure out, do you guys know how to evaluate, if I say f of x equals negative 3x minus 4, what is f of 7? So all that's happening here is notice currently that x is my input, and my output is going to be negative 3x minus 4. What this is asking me to do, the question here, when it says evaluate f of 7, it says, what is negative 3x minus 4 equal to when x is 7. That's what it means when it says evaluate f of 7. So all that's going to happen here is, and I want you to pay close attention, is I have f of 7. What we are doing is we are replacing x with 7. So anywhere that you see an x inside negative 3x minus 4, that's not going to be x anymore. It's going to be 7. So this is what this would look like. We would have negative 3 times, not x, but 7 minus 4. Just like that. And then you just tell me what number that is. So negative 3 times 7 is equal to negative 21 minus 4 is negative 25. F of 7 is equal to negative 25. And relating this back to the beginning, this is our input and this right here is our output. That's it. That's all this is. You are just plugging in the number for x and then you are figuring out what it's equal to. So let's do another example. G of x equals negative 3x plus 1. Same deal. Evaluate g of 10. So I'm going to write g of 10. So I'm going to highlight x up here. Everywhere I see a highlighter mark, instead of x, I'm going to put 10 instead. So negative 3 times 10 plus 1. That's all we have to do this. Now figure out what number it's equal to. Negative 3 times 10. That's negative 30 plus 1 negative 29, we are done. So g of 10 is equal to negative 29. When I input 10 into this function, I get out negative 29. All right, let's do one final example that's gonna be a little bit more difficult, but I wanna make you aware of a couple things I'm gonna do on this example. So first of all, there's multiple x's in h of x equals three x minus two plus x squared. There's one here and here. So when I want to evaluate what is h of negative 2 thirds, watch how careful I am with this. We get 3 times negative 2 thirds minus 2 plus negative 2 thirds squared. Notice my use of parentheses. And notice that the negative is inside those parentheses. So now all we need to do is evaluate at this point, we need to evaluate what this number is. Okay, now if that freaks you out, that's okay. I'm gonna show you how to plug it into a calculator at the end, but right now I will just show you how to do it by hand. Three times negative two thirds. The threes will divide out and all we're left with is negative two. That's not too bad. Minus two. And then negative 2 thirds squared, this is pretty simple. Negative squared is going to be positive. 2 squared will be 4. 3 squared will be 9. So negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4 plus 4 over 9. We will convert negative 4 to a fraction to be negative 36 over 9 plus 4 over 9. And that gets us negative 32 over 9. So. It's a fraction, it's gross, but let me show you how to do it in 
and a calculator real quick. So we are going to do three times negative two divided by three minus, oops, good thing I looked up, minus two plus negative two divided by three. And then we want to hit this little squared button and you get this number, but if you look at it, you get negative 32 over nine as our final answer. All right, and hopefully that clarifies things for you guys. Have a good one.